Today we're gonna be eating our way through my favorite festival in New York City, the Feast of San Gennaro. And we're gonna show you why this is so special. We've got a really amazing tour guide as well. I'm telling you right now, New York City is back. It was never dead, it was just on pause, but we unpause the button. Let's check All it right, out. Alright, so how crowded is this year's festival compared to normal? Yo, I'm not gonna lie, this year's festival is the crowdest I think I've ever seen the feast. It's good to see that the neighborhood is back, and I'm really, really excited for all the businesses. You know, everybody is uh, is back again together. Especially because last year's festival was canceled for the first time, right? Like all these uh, business owners, the people who grew up here, um, the neighborhood guys, you know, this is where they make their money. How many food vendors are lined up here? I mean, you just walk by and you smell everything. Right, the smell is just amazing. Amazing, it really is. Look who we just bumped into, Action What's Kid, up? is going to be chilling with us today. We're going to try the Conconcito. I mean, uh, look at this thing. It looks like onion overload. Oh my goodness. That is a mouthful of crunch, and That meat and the onions, it just fuses and blends so well with this. It is unbelievable. Little Italy would not be Little Italy without this amazing landmark. Listen, everybody who walks through Little Italy, they always get cigars. It's the only cigar shop, I think, in the whole Lower East Side area. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. The sun is just about to set. This is the best part about San Gennaro, in my opinion. It's like you're under the lights at night in New York City. Is there anything more New York than the Feast of San Gennaro? No, there's not. And it's amazing because you have all walks of life walking through here. We live in like the biggest melting pot of the world, so this is so unique to see because in, in, in any other city, you don't see anything like this. It's not how you're doing. It's how you're doing. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> I think of the Feast of San Gennaro, sausage and peppers. I mean, this is the first thing that comes to mind, and we're eating a lot today, so they were nice enough at Cafe Napoli to cut this into thirds. Marco, how many of these did you say you had yesterday? I had about, I had three of them yesterday. You're gonna die young, but you're gonna die happy. I have about 14 clogged arteries. I had yeah. 15 so far. I'm keeping track in the Feast of San Let's go. Mm. What festival you go to in any other state or country, if they have a sausage and pepper sandwich, it's not better than down here in Little Italy. This is where sausage and pepper started from, from our immigrants in the 1900s when they settled here. This is what they ate. Absolutely incredible festival food. The sausage, it's so flavorful. Grandma's meatballs right here. Is this the first time eating of grandma's meatballs? First time? Yeah, I'm first time eating these grandma's meatballs. I don't know whose grandma's these are. But it's everyone's grandma. It's everyone's grandma. grandma. Yeah, yeah. That's right, that's how it is. Oh my gosh. There is not one centimeter in this meatball that's not filled with meat or flavor or anything. It is amazing. The ragotta cheese. Ragot there we go. The ragotta there we go. cheese. Ragot that is the key for yeah. me on that first bite there. It just like melts in your mouth. Everything. From the shredded, from the shredded um, beef that's in there to the sauce. It's amazing. Oh. Really, really, really good rice. Heaven. Man. Even when you put the fork through it, it comes very smoothly on the yeah. top. It is kind of like a falafel, like he was saying. Yeah. Italian falafels. Now imagine putting this in a sandwich. <laughs> oh, unreal. Forget about it. Forget, forget about, about it. it. I want to say is this. I'm out here and I'm a fucking hero. You know what my weapon is? How you doing? Listen, he's a meatball with, with friggin' T-Rex on him. Don't mind him. F***ing kid. I don't even know how to tie his shoelaces yet. He's got Velcro sneakers, you wanna to talk to me? He looks like a, a f***ing calzone with legs. He looks like a f***ing squirrel that they shaved. He looks like the boy's head guy. This guy's built like a f***ing pencil neck. Like a pencil neck. You got one. So the Italian show love you, Yeah, listen, we torture each other. If you don't get made fun of, they don't really like you. If the Italians are quiet with you, that means we just don't like you. Come to Mulberry and Grand, bring your wallet. So this right here is definitely my favorite part of the feast. 
You know, you got the powdered sugar, Zeppelis. When they're steaming hot, it's the best. Powdered sugar all over myself. I grew up in North Jersey across the Hudson. We go out for pizza when I was in high school and you get a bag of Zeppelis after you got like two slices. This brings me back to high school in Jersey. Jersey Shore boardwalk food too. All right, there it is, let's do it. Mm. Powdered sugar goodness, man. Yo, you were reading my, my mind. I feel like I just went into heaven with that bite. It was absolutely amazing. Oh my God. This is good, man. I'm, yeah. I've had my share of Zeppelis in my life. This is good. Yeah. Mm. So something about the bread being heated with the, all the grease, yeah. with the powdered sugar on there, I mean, I, I don't know if it gets better than that. How annoying is Marco? Can I tell us? Which one? They're both annoying. They yeah. scream all day long. That's little Mo. Yeah. But he's the younger Mo. He hit you in the head with a big cannoli, that's what I'm gonna yeah, do. Yeah, here we go. I'm like an Italian boxer going to the ring right now, so we're doing battle with his food. So there's always room for dessert. Oh, I love that. I mean, we're stuffed and we're still eating. That's how you know with the food. It's so good. Just a cannoli cream. Look at that. Has a cool, like, little cinnamon taste from the crust yeah. over here. Oh, oh my God. Really yeah. crumbly. Heaven. Okay. It's heaven. Heaven. It's heaven on earth. Oh. Let's see who the best YouTuber is here. That's it. Who's the best YouTuber? Right. Since we're going to get Italian flag go first. All right, Italian flag first. Right? Right? All right. I'm going to tell you how to do it. You ready? Yeah, all right. Show me. Oh, 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 oh. Let's get it. Let's go! Okay. Right, action kid. What the heck was that? Wow, <laughs> how did you finesse it? Pop it? Wow. We popped all three. Two out of three. Oh, here we go. I'll take this one. Is this a, it's a bear, a chipmunk. What do you guys think? A bear chipmunk? See what? All right. right? That's it for Adriana. Thank you. Oh, there we Thank go. You. Yeah. So everybody, come on down to Little Italy, St. Gennaro Feast. It's up until Sunday the 26th, I promise you. You're going to meet great people, great food, play some games. Come on down, bring your wallet, and enjoy the fun. Guys, it's been a blast. Thank you, John, for all the food. It's always fun to come down here. Pizza always, always fun hanging out with you, Marco, all the New York people. Always a good time. Check out Pizza San Gennaro, guys. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Till next time. Cousin Louie from the Lower East Side, baby. Recognize him. Cousin Louie. Cousin Louie, how you doing? What? Cousin Action Kid. <laughs> <laughs> Distant cousin. John Ball right here. Who's this guy who will up to do the gerbil on his <laughs> hammer, bro? <laughs> the food's starting to catch up with me at the feast, I'm not gonna lie. Hey yeah, guys, imagine reliving this night every night for a week and a half. Yeah. What a life. Someone said it would be fun, but it was fun for the first three days eating. Now I'm just getting fat. Thank you for coming in.